Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode two of Potluck Culture, the podcast where we discuss um, shows, movies, Easter eggs, callbacks, upcomings, plot leaks, rumors, theories, etc., etc. On the last episode, we covered plot leaks and rumors based on the plot of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. But for this episode, we're going to be covering um, future projects that were announced recently by the new head of DC, James Gunn. He is now the Kevin Feige of DC Universe. So let's discuss his plans and what we should expect with um, his with what he calls um, Chapter One, Gods and Monsters. Now. F- This is going to be like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like Phase 1, but this time he's going to represent it in um, movies and TV shows, which is kind of interesting, but we're not getting any of this until after um, Aquaman 2, which is this Christmas, and not until 2025, which is the year Avengers King Dynasty is supposed to release. So, um, well, f- first off, before we get into these um, projects, uh, I want to discuss um, uh, two, um, actually, well, 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 I was going to say three because of Aquaman 2, but I w- w- let's just go with two projects that are coming out first. Uh, we, uh, this March will be Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, and this summer... It's going to be um, what James is going to call um, a universe reset for the DC Universe, which is the Ezra Miller Flash, which would make sense because I think it's supposed to be like a Flashpoint story and the aftermath will change things just like how Loki changed things in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But um, let's go ahead and um, list each um, upcoming project one by one. Let's start with the movies. This first one we're going to get is um, a Superman movie. It's not. It's not going to feature Henry Cavill in this one, unfortunately. Now people have been saying that they that they fired Henry Cavill, but they did not exactly do that because James Gunn um, made a tweet saying that Henry wasn't fired. He just was not hired for the role. So he so he's not he's not out of the picture. This is um, this is going to be like um an existential uh crisis movie. It's not going to be an origin story. It's going to be like almost like a Spider Man two movie of how Clark is struggling to balance his um, Earth and Kryptonian life called Superman Legacy. This next one has me scratching my head because it's not. I've never heard about this. But I looked it up. It looks like it's a branch of DC because it's made by Wildstorm. But the they but it's DC anyway. It's called the Authority, which to me sounds like um like a variation on the Watchmen. But it's not. It's not the same characters. It's different people. Apparently, these are these are these are anti heroes, like. Like like Black Adam, who have good intentions, but in 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 their doing, have to go through extremes to how broken the world is. I'm I've never heard of these people. I don't know who they are or what they do, but it sounds interesting. So it looks like James Gunn is pulling in some old characters that we don't know, and he might bring in some new ones that are relatively new, which is which is kind of neat. Next movie we're gonna get is a Batman and Robin movie, which is going to be our first um, live-action debut of Damian Wayne, but it's not going to star Robert Pattinson or Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne. So, yeah, which is kind of, um, which is kind of disappointing, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how, how this will turn out. It's called The Brave and the Bold, which is funny because, which is funny, because it's it's referring back to the the comic book series and the cartoon show. I don't believe that this is going to be an origin story either, like Superman Legacy is not, because we all know, because well we 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 already got like a an origin story for Batman in the Christopher Nolan movies, kind of like how 
we never got uh, a backstory for the Tom Holland Spider-Man in Spider-Man Homecoming because their origin stories are well known. So I guess that would make sense. The next two movies are Swamp Thing, which is going to be a horror movie. The next one is Supergirl. I I think it'll be neat if they brought back Melissa Barnett from the Supergirl sh- show as Supergirl, but but this but this 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 there's a girl named Sasha who is playing Supergirl in the Ezra Miller Flash, so I think it might be it might be connected somehow, but it can go either which way. Now let's list down the TV shows. Now we all know that James Gunn did a uh, did um a a show called Peacemaker, which is a spin off of the the Suicide Squad featuring uh, John Cena. We know that there's going to be a season two, so season two is it's official. It's going to be officially part of this um new DC universe James has in mind. But we're also getting another spin off show, but it's going to be about Amanda Waller with Viola Davis returning as the iconic character. And this this next one has me scratch my head because it's going to be about Green Lantern. Only this time, it's going to focus on uh, how Jordan and Jon Stewart. Now, the reason why this has me scratching my head is because I don't know if James is going to bring back Ryan Reynolds as Howard Jordan or, or somebody else as Howard Jordan. And if they're going to bring um, the Jon Stewart that we were supposed to get in Zack Snyder's Justice League. But it's a long way, so we'll, we'll know when we know. And yeah, and I'm hoping that they bring back uh, Mark Strawn as Sinestro. Because I think he needs some closure. Because he, he was a good Sinestro in that, that Green Lantern movie. I think that was the only good part of the movie. This next one is... Interesting because it's it's an animated series and it's called Creature Commando. I don't know who these who these people are, but it's supposed to center around a Rick Flag Senior. I'm like, what? But but it's also supposed to be bringing back the Weasel from from Suicide Squad. So I think it's bringing back um, I, I I think this I think it's bringing back um the father of of Rick Flag who who we know was killed in in Suicide Squad, and then they're bringing back the Weasel, but the rest I don't know so far. So I think it's another rendition on the Watchmen, like the Authority is, but I don't know yet. The next two um TV shows we're going to get is um is going to be a Wonder Woman prequel series. Kind of like Game of Thrones, but it's going to focus on um, her origin on Themyscira called Paradise Lost. And this next one, it's going to bring in um, a character that I don't know is old or new, but it's Buster, but it's, it's blah, 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 sorry, it's Booster Gold. And I don't know who this guy is or what he can do. So I'm intrigued. But this next thing is really interesting because. If you're a Marvel fan out there and you watched the first season of Loki and the aftermath of it, they did a show called What If, showing different um, timelines, showing different stories throughout the multiverse, showing what could happen now that the sacred timeline is broken. James Gunn has created his own version of What If, but it's, good, but it's called DC Elseworlds, and it's focused on um, movies and TV shows that are, that are outside of the DC universe, but will have some connection somehow, like maybe in the near future, like if he does Crisis on Infinite Earths. There's like six projects that are officially um, uh, labeled in DC Elseworlds. Two of them have not come out yet. Uh, the Superman and Lois show is apparently in DC Elseworlds. So I guess that, I guess that officially makes the Arrowverse uh, somehow connected to um the DC universe, but even but even though it kind of is because how we saw Ezra Miller's uh, cameo in in uh, part four of Crisis on Infinite Earths, 
which I'm hoping that, that they, they make canon in the Ezra Miller Flash this summer, because I'm going to be upset if they don't. Um, the Robin Pattinson Batman is in Elseworlds, and the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, and apparently there, there, there are two se- upcoming sequels will be part of it. But this one, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, because it doesn't make sense. The Cartoon Network show, Teen Titans Go. I'm like, why? But before any of this happens, um, we have to see uh, the Ezra Miller Flash, because James Gunn said that um, recently, that I found on a tweet, I, I think it was a tweet, or it was his Facebook, that this is not a complete reboot of DC, but more of a soft reboot, so some characters are staying the same, and some some are going to be new, like how how he how how Jason Momoa, uh, the actor of Aquaman, is not going to be Arthur Curry anymore after this, but he's going to stay in the DC universe. But he's he's going to be um the Zarnian um Lobo, who we might know from the sci-fi uh show Krypton, which is. Which is actually plausible because it's because of his um his hair, his body tone, the face, everything. That that would make sense. I'm actually looking forward to seeing how how Jason Momoa will look with with a white skin, red eyes, and black hair. But I think um I think Aquaman is going to be before the Flash because it has to make sense because it's going to be a reset. But I think after this reset is the Blue Beetle movie, which is going to show uh, Jaime and the Scarab. I'm, I'm honestly um, intrigued by this, and I see now, I see now why he calls um, Chapter 1 Gods and Monsters, because, because, because there are gods and monsters in this. Like, the gods are Superman, Supergirl, the Lanterns, the Amazons, uh, the Authority, I'm guessing, uh, Booster Gold. And I'm guessing maybe the monsters are Swamp Thing, the Creature Commandos, and I think maybe Batman because he's dressed as a bat, so that would make sense. Now, people, there are so many people out there on the internet who, now, I'm not, now, before I say this, I know that people can have their own opinions, and I'm not taking that away from them, but many people are really upset about this, that they're putting out um, hashtags out there, like hashtag fire James Gunn, get rid of him, bad word James Gunn. I'm like, is this freaking out over? But but that this is what they, they think. But I think, but I, I, I'm thinking that if we give James Gunn a, a chance and see how this turns out, like how Christian Bale, Batman turned out, I think, I think this might turn out good as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, I, I hope... James Gunn does this well. I hope it doesn't end up being as corny as some DC projects in the past were. But I'm actually, yeah. Yes, I'm actually really curious to see how this turns out. So yeah, that's all. Um, that's what I wanted to cover in um, this episode of Potluck Culture. And um, be sure to look out for a new episode in the near future. Maybe covering the new Ant-Man movie. Or probably sooner than that. But yeah, um, this is Keegan Bond. Thank you for listening to Potluck Culture, and I will see you next time. Mm-hmm.